So I thought Mary Trump would be interesting. Let's see what's going on between her and uh, Uncle Don. Uh, if you like the video, I hope that you will like it, and I hope that you have subscribed. If you haven't, please do. And I, I love you very much for watching my videos. Thank you. <music>
who of course died after his fr son Fred. This is so confusing. His, his Fred Jr.'s wife gave birth to Fred Jr.'s son, but this one had a rare condition which required a lifetime of care. And so uh, Fred Sr. Uh, had established a foundation to pay for the family's medical expenses, and that covered this kid. Now, Mary Trump and her brother filed suit against their aunts and uncles for undue for undue influence on their dad's, their dad's will. And then in retaliation, the aunts and uncles cut off Mary and her brother's medical insurance, including this kid who needs lifetime uh, help. Uh, but then in 2001, finally, the lawsuit was settled, but the kid suffered in the meantime. In 2020, in an ABC interview, uh, she said that Donald Trump should resign. He was utterly incapable of leading the country, and it's dangerous. And Mary sued Uncle Donald and Aunt Marianne and the estate of late Uncle Robert so uh, for defrauding her of tens of millions of dollars, the aunts and uncles dollars. The aunts and uncles tried to dismiss the suit, saying she waited too long. But Mary's lawyers clarified that even reasonable diligence would not have uncovered the fraud ten years earlier. And uh, she has said that her uncle has a, has sociopathic tendencies, like his own father, and was always institutionally insula insta insulated from the responsibilities, from any responsibilities, and never held accountable for his actions ever in his life as a young man, as a, as a boy, as a young man, as a teenager, as a young adult, as an old man. In 2021, her second book, The Reckoning, was published, which I just got. And uh, she was married to a woman, of course, but they have since divorced. And she lives on Long Island with uh, their daughter, uh, which I imagine is a grown woman. So um, there we go. Let's see what the cards say. Okay, so these are Pierpoint Morgan's Visconti Sforza Tarachi deck. So these come in a great box. I mean, you really feel like you've got something of value here. And they've got some interesting stuff inside. This is the, these are the um, uh, rich folks who um, would have had these cards uh, created. Um, Bianca Visconti and Francesco Sforza. So there we go with that. We dump the cards out. There's a cool instruction book back here that is in full color with the cards and easy to read. So that's great. So these cards are from like around the late 1700s, I think. And when you spread them out, they're huge is, is one problem, but they're very interesting to look at. I just don't know that they show up as well on um, the camera as they do in person. So I don't use them uh, on the camera that much, but they are very interesting. The court cards and the uh, Major Arcana are not too difficult to decipher, although they are difficult to decipher. This is the Fool, for instance. And, um, but the uh, pip cards, the numbered cards, you know, you kind of kind of know your, your divination. And, you know, these weren't originally used for divination. They were just used for playing a game. And uh, somehow, I think the gypsies got a hold of this stuff and decided to do something else with them. But uh, these will give you a run for your money. Okay, so these cards are so huge. Let me see if I can figure out a way to, I have to shuffle them this way. It's the only way. And uh, I won't get many shuffles in like that, so we'll just do a riffle shuffle. So Mary Trump. Wow. And uh, she's got a, an older brother. I think it's an older brother, I guess, who, um, you know, stands to benefit from this mess getting sorted out. And uh, a younger brother, I guess is still alive, uh, who still needs care. And, of course, she's gone on to lead her own very successful life. And I can imagine... Uh, studying psychology, you know, you, so many times what happens in our family uh, determines uh, what makes us interested in uh, what we might do for a living, and that certainly panned out here. And so she completely groomed herself for what is happening right now. That's amazing. It's almost like, uh, well, you know, uh, Trump's uh, one of Trump's daughters, Tiffany Trump, is a lawyer or is studied to be a lawyer. Although she is a lawyer, but that's what her, she was studying for. And I'm sure her mother, Marla Maple, the actress, must have said, you know, you might need to know what's going on. You better be a lawyer. So Mary Trump, Mary Trump, <sighs> will she see satisfaction uh, financially from this Trump situation? I can't imagine how. I imagine all the money's gone. But will Mary Trump get some financial satisfaction from her Uncle Donald's uh, situation? <laughs> Let's see what that says. Spread these out. Take six cards. These are so huge. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So let's see. Let's do that. Mary Trump, are you going to benefit from this mess that is becoming 
uh, the legal tangle up of your Uncle Donald. The signifier card for that, wow, strength. Have strength. She's got to be strong. Love these cards. I mean, they're to the point in a lot of ways. So, yeah, with strength, it looks like it signifies, or maybe that signifies what she is right now. The challenge to that, then, is uh, temperance. Okay, you're finding a balance, finding somewhere, uh, some way to keep this, uh, you know, workable. The base of that reading, then, Okay, this is the King of Swords. King of Swords. So he's always, uh, I want to say swords are always truth and justice. And the base of this reading is the King of Swords. You know what? That's who Mary has been throughout all this strength. She has demonstrated herself as the King of Swords. And then the past of this reading is the Page of Cups. And you can barely see it. I don't know if you can make it out uh, on the camera. But the cup is just really faded into the um, this tapestry in the background. But this is the Page of Swords. And Page, like I always say, they bring a weak uh, message. They bring a suggestion of something uh, for consideration. And this is the past here. And it's a cup. And cups are compassion and emotion and, you know, all of those feelings that get us all going. So this page in the past was bringing this this uh, emotional situation up. So that must be the, the money situation, I would guess. Uh, up in the sky is the Four of Cups. And the Four of Cups is typically uh, kind of being offered something that maybe you don't want. And um, maybe in this case, it could be getting the offer of that thing that you do want that offer. So I think it could go either way. I'm going to slide this four of cups way into here, and we'll just have to remember that it's four of them. I uh, hope you can see it like that. Because these cards are so big, I'm going to find an alternative way to get them into the picture. Okay. Now, the, so that's in the sky. Now, the likely outcome of this whole thing, then, is the six of uh, wands, which is celebrations. Celebrations are good. That means victory. So that's at this first early part of this Celtic cross. And the question was, will she financially benefit from the situation with the uncle? So there you go. Let's ask uh, something. Um, well, let's stay along because the cards are kind of ready for that. So let's stay with Mary, of course, and then see if she will gain even more fame after all this is over. That's all I can think of to ask. If, if you guys will suggest questions, I'll ask those. So will she gain even more fame over this situation? I'm going to say this, uh, the self of that question. Oh, yeah, well, this is it. This is the Four of Wands, which are celebrations, small celebrations. I always like to say, but celebrations nonetheless. Okay, let's see if I can get all these cards in here in a way that we can still enjoy them. So celebrations, Four of Wands. And, but that's in the environment of what? That's in the environment of the Two of Cups. It's again. Uh, this Two of Cups is more like partnering uh, with someone um, really almost like a lover. See, it says uh, a more right here. Um, so this celebration, so maybe this is the family factor. That's some of that. Cause I think you still have to have some feelings for your family. I'm not sure. Or it could be just to her and her daughter benefit from this. Um, the uh, hopes and the fears of all of this then. Okay. Now, which one are you? I think you're an, uh, a Pope. Yep. You're a Pope. And you can tell it because it has this very tall Popish, Hat that would have been appropriate uh, when these cards were created. So, uh, and that's and that's uh, indicative of the hierophant, by the way. So, uh, so that's the hierophant. The hopes and fears is that the rules, the justice, the you know everything will work out the way it actually should have. And then the uh, likely outcome, though, because that's the hopes and fears. The likely outcome of all this, okay, is that this is the world card, and so this is the world uh, is beginnings and endings. I really usually think of it as endings because it's towards the end of the you know, major arcana. It is the end of the major arcana. And so it's it's in the end, I think things are going to come out her way, and then uh, life starts again after that, doesn't it? So we'll slip that right under there. So that's a very interesting uh, read for Mary. So I really wasn't going to recap because these cards are so hard, but I'm going to give it a shot. So the first uh, question we have is, um, uh, will she benefit from this mess? And it just says strength is the key. She has to have strength and then it's in the uh, the challenge to it is keeping a balance of what's going on. Uh, the base of the whole thing was this king of uh, swords uh, really uh, feeling like you were in charge of the truth and the justice that's going on here. And then the, the past of that was this page of cups, you know, really such an emotional issue uh, that was brought. Uh, it, it was a lightly emotional issue by this time. It was a money issue more so. And then the sky of that was this four of cups, which is, uh, uh, you know, maybe an offer that you didn't really want. And then with the likely outcome as a Six of Wands celebration. Six of Wands is flat out celebration. But then for Mary herself on the last part of that Celtic cross, I said, what do we have? And she is signified as 
uh, the Four of uh, Wands, which is, uh, again, a small uh, celebrations. The, the Six is uh, victories, I should say, and this Four of Wands is kind of like small celebrations. Uh, and then the uh, challenge to it was this Two of Cups, and I think really now that I give it a second, that's probably her and her daughter um, uh, enjoying that. And then the hopes and the fears were that the uh, Hierophant uh, makes sure all this works out the way it should. And then in the end, with the World card signaling the end of an era, yeah, I think it does work out the way it should, and, and life starts again uh, in some other way. What do you think? I'm Mark, my journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now.